Hello everybody, thank you for tuning in. My name is Philip Green with Amatrace and today we are going to go through Bird Dog Cloud. Now I'm not going to get into the details of Bird Dog Cloud, there's a lot to unpack here. However, I am going to simply show you guys how to create a simple connection from point A to point B. Okay, so what is Bird Dog Cloud? Quite simply, it is a way to transmit NDI across the internet. Okay, Now, NDI, if you don't know already, is a way to transport audio and video as well as other things like control and tally and intercom over your existing gigabit network. Okay, And what does that mean? Right. So until recently, you've had to stay within the same network to use NDI. All right? And so I'm going to demonstrate that right now. As you can see, I have the NDI Studio Monitor pulled up. That is a free tool from New Tech. Um, it's in the NDI Tool Pack if you wanted to go to that. If you simply right-click the NDI Studio Monitor, you can see my available NDI sources to me. For example, I have another computer, a laptop, downstairs that is currently set up and running a few applications on it, including um, Scan Converter, which is pulling in my camera okay and there's my lovely dog Sasha if I right click again and I go to the graphics card you can see that I have a video playing here and it's bringing you along audio and video alright as well as the test pattern which is always the easiest test to run okay so if you run test pattern again it's a simple application and then go to another PC and run studio monitor you can see that come to life right so you're just testing NDI signal in your network if I go to Philips iPhone here, you can see that I have my iPhone set up here on my desk. I can move my hand in front of it as we're talking here, as you can see. All right. And then lastly, I have my computer that is running Scan Converter as well. That's actually how I'm recording this currently. All right. And then something else. This is actually kind of interesting. So you see this uh, desktop here. This is actually not in my network. Okay. So currently I am on a VPN. You can see that down here in my dash bar. You can see that it's a Hamachi VPN. It's free uh, from Log Me In. Um, and I'm actually connected to my colleague up in Swanee right now. He's also at home. Um, he's running Test Pattern on his PC as well as his, gra his scan converter. And as you can see, I can see all of his material on his desktop. He's also using the Bird Dog camera, which we'll get, on and get into in a little bit. He's also monitoring the Bird Dog Cloud as well. Um, and watching some YouTube and he's actually joining a webinar right now by New Tech. Um, so we're gonna get off of that. Um, now that that's a VPN connection, okay? Um, the next thing I want to talk about is our cloud, okay? And if you go to bird-dog.tv, uh, bird you will simply see that the Bird Dog Cloud is kind of the latest and greatest and it's right there on the front page. All right, but I want to talk mainly about how easy this was to set up, right? So I've been working on this for about 48 hours just to kind of get in the nuts and bolts. Um, but quite simply, when I signed up, you know, scroll down here, trial version, they sent me an email that had a few instructions and uh, codes and things like that to, to use. Um, I had to create an account. So here on the Bird Dog Cloud login, created my account, and I go to login. All right, and then... So the way it works, uh, to give you guys an idea, is the application they send you in the mail or in the email, right, <clears throat> is simply this client that gets installed on your computer. Um, that client then sniffs out all available NDI sources on the network to the PC. So because I have um, a VPN going, it sniffs out the VPN sources as well. So. What's really cool, I'm going to sit here, I'm going to restart these real quick. But what we want to talk about is where do we go from here. So the first thing that we're going to have to do is claim a code. Okay. So in the email, it's going to, or not in the email, sorry. Yeah, in the email, it's going to send you a file to install on the PC. Okay. Once that file is installed, it's going to generate a code for you. All right. And that's going to be a very specific code to your PC. Once you enter that code it's going to claim the endpoint and then it's going to ask you to give information about this endpoint okay and that's going to be located here so for example I have under Philips home PC I gave it a destination to put all my recordings I gave it a license key which was provided to me in the email and I'm not worried about you guys stealing that be, you know mainly because um, I can only use it on one endpoint at a time 
and it shows up with a big watermark on my screen so it's just a trial version anyways my local IP address which this is actually the Hamachi IP address believe it or not it's not my uh, home network IP um, and then thumbnail refresh rate and things like that okay so I'm gonna save the endpoint here give it a second to, to refresh you also need to set up an encoder but you don't have to because there are default encoders already um, so if you wanted to make special encoding settings you can that that will be done here under configuration as you can see I have two encoders going right now one's mine and the other one's just the default that was already set up for me inside of these encoders you can see that I have a lot of different settings I can play with like the bit rate make it a variable or a constant bit rate type of encoding I'd like or profile settings things like that okay so next I want to show you that um, you have tutorials here as well if you'd like to go through those on your own time um, they were pretty informative for me however the one thing that I couldn't seem to find is simply the connection matrix okay so the connection matrix is actually where you go to start setting up the uh, cloud connections from point A to point B but there was nowhere telling me where the connection matrix is okay because when I first started it was a blank screen so then I started clicking around these menus well once you get away from it you don't know how to get back to it well if you click on the bird dog you will then get back to your connection matrix which once you have set up multiple endpoints you will start seeing those endpoints show up okay um, until then there will be nothing alright so keep that in mind now it's saying I have an error here I'm gonna go ahead and wait give it a little bit see if it restarts I'm going to restart mine, and I can do that remotely here if I needed to, or I can also come down to my dash bar here and restart it down here as well. So this is what I should start seeing populate, uh, these little check boxes to ask me to create a new connection. Okay, So as this starts to grow, I'm going to go ahead and get a connection started while mine reboots. Okay. Now, I want to, in this example, I want to pull some NDI sources from Alex's PC to my PC here. All right. So to do that, I'm going to select this checkbox. It's a matrix, so it's in, out. All right. Um, so if I hit this checkbox here, it asks me how do I want to configure that. I'm going to select my uh, encoding settings, which is a 5 megabyte in setting. Single connection, not a multi-view. Um, just leaving some default settings here. Now, NDI source. As you can see, I have a lot of different options that are available on his network, right? The test pattern, the GeForce, his his screen, if you will, and then the camera, the bird dog camera. Now, mind you, before I was only using the VPN to see these two, okay, via the studio monitor. I could not see this camera because it technically was not on that VPN network okay but now because the bird dog client is sniffing out all available NDI I can see his camera so I'm gonna grab that bird dog camera and I'm gonna say hey yeah that's a PTZ camera I also want to allow tally and alpha if I wanted to no need to put no audio that camera doesn't currently have audio set up to it um, port settings I leave those by default but of course um, a more superior IT person will be able to adjust those settings as needed okay SRT latency, things like this. I'd leave all of this at default. If you wanted to add bitrate security or bit security, rather, you can add those as well. Okay. So I'm going to just simply select connect. And as you can see down here at the bottom, it's going to start populating this information once that connection has been established. All right. So it took a second there to actually connect. Um, and just some of the things that I did to troubleshoot is to simply select and restart. Um, after it established a good connection, then this connection uh, window went green. And then as you can see, I'm getting data from my stream. Okay, And if I wanted to, I can click on this little eye here to see a preview of what, I, what I'm looking at. So that's pretty cool, but I don't want to take up the bandwidth to do that right now. Um, but what I do want to do is, now that the connection is made, I'm going to go over here to my studio monitor, and I'm going to right-click and go find it. Okay. So as m uh, mentioned before, this is the VPN. Okay. So this is direct connection via the network. So according to NewTek and NDI, it thinks that this is on the same network for all intents and purposes. But through the cloud, I have to actually look at my machine, because I want to remind you that this bird dog cloud is simply doing a 
transmit and a receive. And so now the TriCast, or not the TriCaster, sorry, um, this unit thinks that it's part of the NDI network. So if I select this here, now you can see that the bird dog cloud trial is there and I have this camera pulled up, okay? And believe it or not, because I selected PTZ, I have the ability to simply use my presets or even just control this camera in general. Now, there is a little bit of delay in terms of when I make my move to when the camera responds, right? Um, but as far as video goes, I actually tested this earlier with my colleague and had him do a clapboard and everything like that. It's actually pretty instantaneous. Um, and I know that's a hard thing to say and a hard thing to see and, and show um, without using a clock and things like that. But I will be pressed to say that it is very acceptable um, in most broadcasts, right? And so let's think about the bigger picture here, right? Me being able to do this eliminates the need for a lot of expensive equipment um, to do remote productions and things like that from various buildings. I simply can use the bird dog cloud and transmit this video feed over the internet, okay? So that's one thing um, that we're showing off here. Another thing that I can set up here, which I think is also pretty cool, is under my PC, I can set up under an NDI, get this this icon here and I can actually set up a multi view okay and I'm gonna use my iPhone for example the camera and then the graphics card in the test pattern okay grab for just for four six okay NDI audio I'm gonna grab it from the graphics card from the laptop okay so basically I want to hear the music that's playing on my laptop downstairs all right <clears throat> And then if I had an NDI PTZ source in there, I would select that as well, which would give me control over the multi-view. I'm going to tell it to show the source names, and I'm going to throw all this down just a little bit because I'm all I'm doing is creating a quick multi-view for me to actually look at. Okay, so establish that connection real quick. There it is. It has been created, and because it's not transmitting any data, it's just creating an uh, an image here. Um, it's not going to show up down here. But what it does do is, on the client, it makes an available multi view for me to look at. So if you see here, I now have multi window preview. Selecting that will then pull up those four by four. Okay, and it's pretty real time. Uh, sometimes I'm getting some lag here on my screen. Um, things like that. But again, remember this is a preview. This is simply just so you can see what's going on in your NDI world. Okay. Uh, so we thought that was also really neat. So that about does it. A um, couple of things that we needed to do to get this going um, is sometimes I had to restart my Bird Dog Cloud or restart my NDI tools. Um, but once the connection is actually established and is transmitting information it's pretty much reliable so if I go to the edit machine again and grab the bird dog camera again there it is it pulls right back up all right so we, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you need any more information or would like to uh, possibly get a quote or talk to us soon, please feel free to contact our office at amatrace.com or call us at 770-263-9190. Talk to you guys soon.